you're eating home cooked food you've cut down sugar you're careful about carbs still you feel bloated tired and inflamed so what's going on here's the truth that almost no one talks about the real issue might not be sugar or carbs it might be a hidden fat that's slowly making you sick and it's called linoleic acid or la for short the shocking part is once this fat enters your body it doesn't get burned off it gets stored in your fat cells and stays there for years it silently disrupts your mitochondria the part of your cells responsible for energy production a 2023 review published in cells revealed how excess linoleic acid damages mitochondrial membranes and promotes chronic inflammation the researchers called it a metabolic time bomb their exact words but don't worry In today's video I'm going to share four easy and effective tips with you to detox this hidden fat from your system. And tip number 4 is the most important so stay tuned till the end. Before we dive deeper make sure you hit the like button because this kind of information gets buried by big food industry marketing and your one like tells the algorithm this is real content that deserves to be seen. Now you're probably wondering where is this linoleic acid even coming from? Short answer everywhere vegetable oils like sunflower safflower canola soybean and even rice bran oil are loaded with it chips biscuits cookies restaurant food peanut butter protein bars it's all hiding in there even skin care and baby food sometimes use sunflower or soy oil as a base so you're not just eating it you're absorbing it through your skin too the average person today is eating 10 to 20 times more linoleic acid than humans used to eat 100 years ago This overconsumption messes with your body on a cellular level, promoting oxidative stress, weight gain, insulin resistance, and even infertility. But the good news is once you remove this fat from your diet, your body begins to heal. Your energy comes back. Your metabolism resets. Your inflammation starts to go down. So here are four tips to reduce linoleic acid in your life. Step 1, remove vegetable oils from your kitchen. Sunflower, safflower, soybean, canola, rice bran, these oils are cheap, heavily refined and extremely high in linoleic acid. They oxidize easily when heated and cause inflammation at a cellular level. Instead, switch to traditional Indian fats that have stood the test of time. Cook with ghee. Use cultured butter. Add some cold pressed mustard oil for flavor. These are stable, nourishing fats that don't disrupt your metabolism. In fact, they support hormone balance and gut health too. And by the way, if you're using olive oil or avocado oil, make sure they're cold pressed and not mixed with cheaper oils. Personally, I don't cook with olive oil at high heat. I only use it on very low heat or better yet in salads and dressings. I never use it for frying veggies or making sabzi. Even if the bottle says it's safe for cooking or high temperature safe, I still don't think it's the right choice for Indian style high heat cooking. So use them in cold dishes only, no frying. Tip number 2, choose clean protein sources. Your body needs protein to repair tissue, balance hormones and burn fat efficiently. So go for the lean cuts of chicken, especially breast. Wild caught fish like sardines or salmon these are the richest natural sources of omega 3 but since they aren't widely consumed in India i usually recommend going for a high quality fish oil supplement and make sure it's tested for purity lastly paneer made from a2 milk if you're okay with dairy these sources are not only high in protein but also rich in healthy fats that support metabolic health and don't add to your la load If you can include some organ meats once in a while like liver which is rich in nutrients and naturally low in linoleic acid. If you're finding this helpful so far, pause for a second and hit the subscribe button. We're building a community that's exposing hidden health disruptors and finding real food solutions and you won't want to miss what's coming next. Now tip number 3, get your omega 3s right. While linoleic acid is an omega-6 fat that causes inflammation, omega-3 fats help balance it out. They are anti-inflammatory, support brain health, improve mood and help with fat metabolism. The best source, oily fish. Fish like salmon and sardines are rich in DHA and EPA, the active forms of omega-3 your body needs. Unlike plant sources, these don't need to be converted. They are ready to be used by your brain and your cells. Again, 
if you don't find these in Indian markets, you can fulfill your nutritional needs with a fish oil supplement. If you're vegetarian, you can get some benefit from flax and chia seeds. But don't rely on them as your only omega-3 source. They offer fiber, minerals and ALA. But the conversion to DHA is very limited. So if fish is an option, make it a regular part of your meals, twice or thrice a week. Else, go for a fish oil supplement. Step 4. Be mindful of restaurants and packaged food. Even if you're eating clean at home, one meal out can throw things off. Restaurant food, especially deep fried items, almost always uses reused vegetable oils. Choose grilled or tandoori items instead of fried ones. Carry your own homemade dressing when eating out or ordering salad. Read labels carefully. Even healthy biscuits and protein bars often use refined oils. Every small choice matters. Linoleic acid builds up slowly, meal after meal. But healing starts just as gradually, one clean meal at a time. Look, I know this sounds overwhelming, but you don't need to be perfect. Just start reducing the LA load and you'll start feeling the difference. Your energy will come back, your skin will glow, your fat loss will feel effortless because your mitochondria, your cellular engines will finally get a break. And remember, this isn't about going zero fat. It's about switching to real, stable, ancestral fats that your body actually knows how to use. If this video opened your eyes, share it with someone who's been eating clean but still feels stuck. And don't forget to subscribe. Every week, we bring you real uncensored health truths that the mainstream doesn't want to talk about. See you in the next video. Take care.